Hello folks, it's my Kaylee 7. Welcome. So today I'm going to make a video for you on how I make buying motor vlogs from start to finish. The whole thing. The good, the bad, the ugly, the stupid. It's all gonna be here for you. So let me get started here. I'm gonna show you a little bit about my gear as I go through my process here. Make sure I have this bag in correctly. There we go. Okay, so first things first, let's check the temperature. It is uh, almost 50, I'm gonna call that 50. It's 50 degrees and I've got on, I don't know if you can see that, but that's my, uh, uh, heated vest, my electric heated vest. Ah, oh, goodness gracious. I hope this is not all yucky. That's better. All right. So, uh, I got that on. Underneath it, I have a t-shirt. Not wearing my armored pants today because I'm a schnook. Oh, well. Sorry. And I got on my, uh, Elsinore 1000 RR something boots icon. And, uh, now I'm going to put the camera or cameras on my helmet and on the bike. Let me see if I can figure out a way to do this so I can show you how I do it. <coughs> Old man noises. Hang on a moment here, thinking about where I could do this. I suppose I could do it right here. Hopefully you can see it. I just need to prop something. You always got to think of these things when you're making moto vlogs. Where do I put the camera? All right, let's see if I can put it here. All right. Yeah, you can kind of see what I'm doing there, I think. So I have my heat out thingy I got from Cycle Gear. Uh, it's my do-rag. I always wear a do-rag because uh, over my ears, it keeps my ears from flopping over when I put on the full face helmet. And that's one good thing. My head doesn't really ever get uh, cold. So I'm not worried that this is a heat out thing. Uh, if I do get cold, I have thicker stuff that I can use. All right, let's get the cameras going over here. I gotta go in my bag. Let me show you what I have. This camera is the GoPro Hero 7, and that is going to go on the bike itself. This is my 10C Evo from Sena. I call it Sena. I don't call it Sena because I'm an English teacher and I'm a linguist. If you have a double N, then you would pronounce it Sena. But since there's a single N, you pronounce it Sena. Sorry, it's just my little thing. I know I'm a jerk, right? GoPro Hero 8. So I'm going to put that on first. They don't have to go on in any particular order. I like how this thing has a little fold down uh, mount area. So that's nice. And I screw that thingy there and I stick that on there. And now I got this mount. I don't know where I got this mount, but I got this mount where I can stick it on the helmet with the sticky. Then I put Gorilla Tape all around it because I'm afraid of it falling off while I'm riding. So let me show you, see? So I got the Gorilla Tape on there. I got that mount and it's to this thing here. I could kind of move this whole thing down a little bit if I wanted to get lower, or I could just tilt it like that. Oop, I hit the button and I made the car go bloop. All right, so there's that part. Let's go to the next part. That's gonna be I don't know if you can see that. That's going to be my 10C Pro. The 10C Evo, sorry. This is the mount from the 10C... 10C. I think this is the 10C mount. I don't think this is the 10C Pro mount. I think I have that on a different helmet. But anyway, I've got a 10C or a 10C Pro mount on here already with the microphone inside. 
Uh, so I'm going to just slide this on. And yes, it does fit. So that's nice. I don't have to put the... I mean, it comes with a mount anyway, so I could go through the rigmarole of putting it all together again. But, you know, six of these, half a dozen of those. Then I got to connect this thing here in the back. There you go. That's easy enough done. All right, so now I've got both cameras on my helmet, and I've got the microphone up in here. I don't, you can't see that, but it's right up in it, behind here. It's right behind there. It's not the boom mic that's got the, the thick thingy. It's just the wire, and you, you tape or glue or Velcro the little thin uh, foam-covered microphone in the helmet, and that's what I use. Uh, for years, I was using that boom one inside the helmet, you know, with that big thing. Uh, forget that. All right, let me take you over to the bike now. Show you how I do this. This is going to be a little bit of a challenge because, <laughs> as you can see, I haven't moved the bike yet. But anyway, we're just going to give it a try. There we go. Hmm. I want Can I go like... Can I turn it around? Is there a way to turn it around? No, there isn't a way to turn it around. Alright. So now... Let me put uh, this thing on. This is the GoPro Hero 7. Still got the damage from when it fell off at 80 miles an hour. <laughs> Still works. Yay for GoPro. So I just put that on there. Stick that in there. And wiggle it around. And then I'll put it like that for now. Okay, now it's time for me to get the bike out of the garage. All right, here we go. Moving the bike. Out of the garage. Ta-da! Right. Plenty of space. Kind of... She took the car today, so she went to work. Usually she works from home, but today she's doing it the other way. Makes it easier for me. I have to walk one side instead of the other. Here we go. <laughs> See you in a sec, folks. Oops, I got it on backwards. Ha! Ha ha! Here we go. Let's turn this around. Let's turn that around upside down, shall we? There we go. There we are. All right. Whew. Now, to make sure my lenses are clean, that's important too. Yeah, I use the oblique light. You know, I, I turn it so that I can see the reflection off the lens. Making sure it's clean. By the way, the... Uh, I'm going to push this back a bit because I feel like it's not... Okay. The backrest on the bike for the, the Honda Goldwing, the stock backrest, is great. Put your helmet on. Holds it perfectly. All right, so let me see if I can clean this up a little bit, make sure it's nice and clear. I don't want to have that Barbara Walters Vaseline lens. I should probably check the Cena also. Eh, it's a bit dirty. 
I don't use the video from the Cena, but it is a good backup, so I want it ready just in case. There we go. Nice and clean. Let's see if this thing yells at me again. Nope. Yep, it yelled at me again. Why? Why? Why are you doing that? Why? Am I pushing something by accident on this damn thing? I must have been pushing something. Damn key fobs. All right. I also use my phone mount to put my helmet on when I'm at gas stops or restaurant stops or whatever. Uh, I always keep my bike in view and I watch it like a hawk. If I'm not going to be able to see it, I lock the helmet. There's a little helmet lock thing over here I use. And of course I take my cameras off. Okay, so ready to put on my helmet. So today is Tuesday, the 24th of November 2020. See there, I'm ready. Now, you push the back button and the side button together at the same time, and you hear nothing. Ah. You can't just tap it, you gotta hold it. And it goes doo 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 doo, hello. So, alright, I heard she said hello. Now, hold this button down for a sec here. Doo doo, camera on. Doo doo, and then you push it again to hold it. Beep. Nothing. Nothing. No, it took a picture. Recording. Okay. Trying to get that going. I like the GoPros because they have this easy feature. If you already got all your settings right, you just push the record button. Turns it on and starts recording. When you're done, then you push the record button again. Turns it off. All right, time to get on the bike here and do my stuff. So, pull in the brake, hold down this button. Notice I haven't turned anything on yet. Bike is totally off. There you go. You never have to worry about it starting and lurching forward because it's in neutral. DCT, baby. Plus, I'm holding the brake when I do it, so. Okay, got that part good. I put my uh, garage door opener in a little compartment that the airbag normally would go in. I don't have the airbag model. Very convenient. Here's my gear. This is an Arai. Um, what is that called? Corsair X. This is an Arai Corsair X helmet. I have um, a Climb Badlands Pro jacket on. Vents are all open. And uh, I'm wearing Dainese. Uh, are they, I don't know if they're called X-Strike. I think they're X-Strike. Dainese gloves with the titanium knuckles. It also has this little doodad here. You can slide on down the road, and it's got this thing here, which keeps your pinky from bending the wrong way, apparently. So, so I'm pretty much geared up. I've got my, my legs protected, sort of. Upper body, it's got all kinds of stuff in it. Only thing is my knees and my, my hips, because I'm not wearing the proper pants. That happens sometimes. I climb on the left peg to get on the bike. Not always. Sometimes I stand on the right side of the bike, kick my leg back and over, and get on that way. There really isn't any rule to it. Get on the way you get on. If anybody says, you should get on this way, I would give it a try. If it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you. All right. Garage is closed. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. 
flick it into drive. Making sure all my stuff looks okay. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, okay, so now when I'm making the motor vlog, right? Normally I'm not talking th this whole time, but uh, right before I, I set off to go, I want to make sure I synchronize the, uh, the video from this camera and the video from this camera, as well as the audio from this camera, and, you know, by default video. So the way I do it is, before I start rolling down the road where all that wind noise is going to stop me from hearing this one and that one, I just kind of look at the camera and I go, Synchronize! 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 And that way, when I look at it in my audio track in the video editing program, I can see those bumps and line them up perfectly. You'll see that in the editing stage. All right. Off we go. By the way, I already did the synchronize. Isn't that cool? <sighs> Sometimes I cut out my sniffs. Sometimes I don't. And when I'm going from one camera to the other camera, sometimes I just do a cut and it just does it instantly. Or I'll do a fade, so it slowly fades from one to the other. I also do a fade in at the beginning and a fade out at the end. I used to have um, intro and outro. And for me, it was a very simple black screen with white letters, kind of like the, the motif of uh, that uh, PBS series, The Civil War by Ken Burns. Just kind of a white title on a black background, trying to encapsulate what I'm doing. Yeah, I think I can go after this guy. All right. So, this is, uh, you know, where I would normally say, greetings YouTube. And I start talking. Now, sometimes I have a topic in mind already. And other times I don't, and I just start talking about whatever the soundtrack is in my head that day. And uh, sometimes it turns into something and sometimes it doesn't. <clears throat> so I'll tell you what's on my mind right this second. If I go straight, I'm gonna pass the convenience center. That's basically the dump, because I live in an unincorporated area. So there is no garbage pickup by the city. There is no city. I could pay somebody a hundred bucks a month or whatever to, to pick up my garbage. Nope, I'd just take it down there myself. But if you go down there, you're risking nailing your tire because, you know, people are bringing all kinds of crap down there. So I'm going to try to avoid that on the bike from now on. I'll try to plan my route a little better. My tire light's not coming on, so I know that I have good tire pressure. Usually that would have already started by the time I got to the end of my street. It's a bit nippy out here, not too bad. Somebody said, uh, somebody recently was commenting on my review of this bike, my uh, 15,000 mile review. Uh, they basically took a giant shit all over my, my beloved bike, right? It's like, I, I put this thing on there to let you know how I feel about it, and I like it, and this and that, and then somebody says, that bike sucks. That thing's a piece of shit. Thanks. Thanks a lot. It's kind of like if I invite you into my house, and I show you something, oh my god, your house is fucking horrible. I can't believe you live here. I'd rather live in a cave. That's kind of the way it is. I, I don't like when people are jerks like that but you know people are jerks so but the person said uh, the wind buffeting is way too bad and I do notice I feel it here and here coming around you could buy a bigger windscreen if you wanted to 
but I don't see it as a problem. I'm not cold. I can also feel a little bit on the outsides of my legs, but eh, I'm not I'm not cold. And I ride down in you know 27 degree Fahrenheit. Doesn't really get much colder than that on a daily basis for me, so. And the guy, he was all critical. He says, you know, that's not a touring bike. Not like the old Goldwing. There are those who hate the new Goldwing that ride the older ones, and they hate this new one. Oh, this thing pisses them off. Because it's not designed like the old one was for two retired people to tour America for weeks and weeks and weeks, pulling a trailer big bulbous thing with with space shuttle controls all over it this one is not that this one is more sporty How, hence the sport mode I don't know why they put a governor on it to keep it from going over 112 kind of a bummer oh well do I really need to go over 112 I don't need to <laughs> I'd like to and I know I could flash the ECM or something, but I'm afraid I'll void the warranty. So if anybody knows of a foolproof way of getting rid of that governor, and it's proven on a 2018 plus Goldwing, you let me know. Without getting the warranty voided. This, this bike also, as I'm talking about it, the guy says, ah, it's got no storage space. I can't fit my laptop. I got a big old laptop in the back right now. When I went on my 6,260-mile trip across the United States last year, I put a, a Krieger bag on the back, in the back seat. A 30-liter Krieger bag. Got that cycle gear, I think. Waterproof. It was wonderful. Packed that thing full. That was where all my clothes and stuff were. Then I put my uh, courier bag on top with my laptop and a bottle of whiskey. I had my camera bag in the in the trunk. And in the left side I had, you know, bike fixy things. And the right side I had gloves and extra stuff. And I did not lack for anything the entire time I was away. I used everything I had. Yeah, I used everything I had. And the grab rails for the passenger on this, they were fine. I was able to put my bungee cords and strap things down, no problem. Yeah, I mean, you can get the other grab rails that are higher up. But I don't really need them because I'm fine with what I have. I don't have a passenger, so I don't need to worry about that. Now, I'm 260 pounds, 265. With all the gear, I'm probably closer to 300. Can you believe that? Oh my god. Uh, and if I had a passenger, let's say I had my girlfriend on the back here. She She's not a skinny little mini either. So the two of us would, would just by our bodies be over the capacity for the bike. So I don't know how people my size or even bigger can two up tour on one of these things. Imagine it can be done. I'm sure there's somebody going to say, oh, yeah, I, oh, I don't want to go this way because that's where nails are. Come on, Mikey. Remember? Don't go that way. Nails. I don't know how people do it. I'm sure somebody has a thing. I do it. I'm 7,000 pounds. My wife is a million pounds, and we do it just fine. Okay, great. Tell us your story on a 2018 plus wing, not on your other wing or whatever bike you have. My BMW K blue blue blue. I can carry a gazillion pounds. All right. So here I am at work, getting ready to park in the motorcycle parking. That's what I'm going to do from now on. I'm not going anywhere near those nails anymore. Going where the tires go. All right, next up, you're going to see me editing this video together. Stay tuned. All right. So now... I'm at work and I have moments in between. I got a tester next door testing for placement. So I'm going to take this moment to make a little bit more of my video. Here's my laptop. It's an Asus 
Republic of Game is something, I don't know. It, it's supposed to have fastness, so I got it about a year, year and a half ago for the 4K type stuff. And uh, this is my little bag I carry my stuff with, extra battery. Here's my cameras, and I got my little card reader. So now I'm going to show you what I do next. All right, I got my laptop. Hello. Got helmet hair. I always start off with my uh, my GoPro Hero Eight. Okay. So open that bad boy. Now I know you can plug a cord from the camera directly into the computer. I don't do that. I just take out the the uh, SD card. This has got a 256 gigabyte. This has got a 256 gigabyte SD card. Pop that bad boy in there. Stick that in there. Eventually, if I figure out how this thing works. <laughs> there you go. Alright, so now I'm going to go through the process of downloading from the camera into the computer and then I'm going to save uh, the files in my uh, gigabyte drive. That's an old gigabyte drive. I know they come a lot smaller now, but I cleaned it out from the, all the songs I used to have on it because I have Apple now, so I don't care. And I'll just store them on there. But uh, let me uh, do that now. You don't have to watch this part. All right. Looks like I'm recording. So you can see I'm using Screencast-O-Matic to make this video, this part of the video anyway. So now you can see exactly what I am doing. So here we go. All right. This is my uh, movie editing program. It's called Movie Studio 16.0 Platinum. I think they've got 17 or 18 or whenever you're watching this. It could be Movie Studio 8000. I don't know what the hell it is. Anyway, this is what I use. So I've already uploaded all my videos using my little flashy drive thingy. So all my videos are in my computer, ready to go, and let's go find them. All right, so before I go find them, I'm going to go here and delete this text thing from my from my uh, editing timeline picture in picture no I don't need that for what I'm doing music I don't need that for what I'm doing so I delete that track as well so how am I doing that I'm right clicking getting the uh, the option I'm gonna ins uh, do that later All right, so I have a, one video track and one audio track let's go get the first thing I always choose the best quality camera first because the settings on this thing as I have it will automatically render the video in the quality that matches the quality of the thing that I'm importing. So if I import a lower quality first, then it'll render it at that quality and I don't want it to do that. So I go into my PC and there it is. I put it in my data and over here I go to videos and now November 24th I created a folder. I created a folder for my GoPro 7, 8, and Sina. I created those folders in the November 24th folder that I also created because I'm organized like that. GoPro 8, double click. Come on now. Open? No? All right. Oh. Ah, what did I just do? <laughs> I'm moving too fast. I got to be careful. Let's undo that and let's try that again. Oh no. It's it's rendering. Ah, oh, Jesus. Well, I'll be cutting all this part out of the video. So, 47, 48, 51, 52. Boy, did I screw up, huh? Okay, so add a range. I'm already in my GoPro 8 folder there. I'm going to click that one and click that one. I've got all three of those because I only recorded one video this morning. And then click open. 
Now, we're going to have to wait a little bit because right now it's rendering the video in such a way that I'll be able to see all the little peaks and valleys of the audio in it. And you'll notice in the upper left-hand corner, it says here, 12%, uh, one of two. So this part's done. You can see the audio in there very clearly. These other two parts, it's still working. I have not saved this project yet. So if I start playing around with this too soon, it might crash the program. Don't want to do that. So I'm just going to be very patient and wait. 54%, yeah, yeah, yeah getting closer usually at this point I'll go over to my other computer and, and do work stuff or help a student or I've got nothing else going on might use my phone I try not to use anything else on this computer while I'm doing stuff because I don't want to tax the, the computer I just want it to focus on what it's supposed to do 95% 97 99 come on now all right oh two of two oh god that one shouldn't take as long because it's less I'm going to click here and risk crashing it. Shouldn't crash it too bad. I zoom in, I'm pushing the zoom in. See this thing here is zooming it in. All right, so now I can see these little sound things here. So let me go here, move my timeline to that point, and go. Push the record button again, turns it off. Let me turn up my volume so I can hear myself. When I'm at home, I have on my Powerbeats earbuds, Bluetooth into the computer, so that way uh, my girlfriend doesn't have to listen to me on the computer. She can watch her ridiculous Hallmark Channel stuff, and I can focus on my videos. So what was I saying here? Let's see. Go back here and try again. And you push the record button again, turns it off. Okay, so this is the GoPro Hero 8 footage. So I'm going to mark it by putting a little cut in here, a little, little uh, detach or split, split. It's called split. Watch. And you push the record button again, turns it off. All right, after the word off, I'm going to do a little split. Okay. That, and I'm going to try to find that in the GoPro 7 video that I'm about to put into the project. So here we go. I'm going to go to add arrange media. Oh, let, let me save first. Save. All right, this one's a how to make a moto vlog. There you go. Make sure I save that. It wants to save it movie studio, bloody bloop. No, no, no. I want it to go where I want it to go. This PC, data, videos, November 24th, save. So the project is being saved. It's not the video. It's the project's being saved. Now I have to add in a couple more things over here. So right click, audio track first, because it always goes down the bottom, which is where I want it. Right click, video track, it goes to the top where I don't want it. I'm going to have it second place down there. And that'll be clear later on why I did that. So the audio and the video are going to be in two separate little spots there. So now I go to add, arrange media, and then I go to the GoPro 7. go open and now I go over here to power user mode see it on my timeline and there it is and it looks like it didn't put it in the right place so I'm gonna have to zoom out of my timeline yeah it didn't put it all in the right place this stuff here should be down here and the rest of it's good now, I'm not going to slide all this over to match up with that one until I figure out where it is that I said the, the thing I said before, which I can't remember what I said. Something I think it was off something. So I'm just going to wait for this thing to render, and I'm not going to push save yet because it's in the middle of rendering, so it's not going to save it anyway. It's still rendering. So I'll just wait. This is, again, where I would use my phone or computer. Got a couple of emails coming in. Nothing I need to take action on at the moment. So I'm good that way. Near the end of the day anyway, so I'm just going to hang out here. Hopefully it won't get too dark. Don't want to go home in the dark, but I might end up having to. And here we go. Still waiting. Still waiting. 
one of the videos is ready. Let me see if I can start looking at that one. Do, 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 do. All right, this is going to take a little bit longer because I talked, as I recall, Oops, a I got lot. It on backwards. Ah. <laughs> Two idiots. Helmet lock thing over here I use. And of course I take my cameras off. Okay, so. Ready to hold this button down for a sec here. Doo doo, camera on. Doo doo, and then you push it again to hold it. Beep. Nothing. Nothing. No, nope, took a picture. Recording, okay. Trying to get that going. I like the GoPros because they have this easy feature. If you already got all your settings right, just push the record button, turns it on, starts recording. When you're done, when you push the record button again, turns it off. Off. See, that's the word I said. So I'm going to do a little uh, split right there. And now I want to move all this over to here, but because there's a whole lot more preceding it, uh, I think I might be better off moving this stuff to the left, right, or to the right right now. So let me uh, click that, right click, select events to end, slide it on over, and we're going to match up those two cut points. And I think that should do it. Is that right? Is that right? Well, we're going to find out. Put the little timer there. Oh, no, no, that's not it at all. Oh, you know what I did? <laughs> Let me undo all that. I'll show you what I did wrong. I'm thinking too fast here. There's a little teeny weeny piece over there that I missed. You want to see it? I did say good, bad, and ugly. All right, so this little piece I missed because I had zoomed out too far. Select events to end. Zoom back out again. And I'm going to slide it until I get to that cut point. There you go. Let me slide it on over. Zoom back in. And you'll notice now that these two, these two uh, audio tracks pretty close to synchronized. So all I have to do is move one of them one way or one of them the other way. So I'm going to choose to move this one, select events to end, so that they all move and don't overlap each other. And I want to try to get them so they look like they're in the same kind of spot. I think right there. Let me play it and see what happens. Turns it off. You hear that little bit of an echo? That's okay, because I'm going to be silencing uh, all the audio except for one of uh, the Cena is the only audio I'm going to use in this. So if there's a little bit of an echo, I'm not too worried. If you really want to get careful about it, you can try to sync them up exactly, although it's kind of a hit or miss sometimes. So let me right click again, select events to end. I'm looking real close now. Okay. Maybe let's try that. Zoom back out again so I can go to the beginning of the utterance. You like my fancy language? Here we go. Turns it off. Yeah, the echo is much less now. I'm comfortable with that. The video is going to sync up. That's all I really care about. And one good thing about the GoPro 8 and 7, when you sync them up one time, that's it. They're synced up. I don't have to worry about one lagging or falling behind the other. They're going to stay synced all the way to the end. So that's good. Now that I've done that, I'm going to minimize the video for the GoPro 7 which is there and I'm going to minimize the audio let me see which one am I going to minimize now the the 10121 track is the the GoPro 8 I don't want to minimize that one but this one here I've synced it up I'm good I'm going to minimize that one I'm going to be using this as a reference to match up to my Cena and I'm going to use this one later on uh, for video stuff. But I think I'm good there. Let me save it before I forget. And now I'm going to move to make two more tracks. Insert audio track. Insert 
video track, move that all the way down to the bottom. And now I'm going to go find it. So save. I, I try to save as much as possible. Cena. And now, now the way Cena does it, the, this new Cena 10C Evo, it kind of does like the GoPro does. GoPro has uh, the main video, and it's got like two other versions of the same video for whatever purposes I haven't figured out yet. I'm sure there's a thing and somebody's going to, you idiot, they're for blabby bloop. Okay, whatever. I just want to use the really good quality one. So that's for the GoPros. It, it has three different versions of the video. I don't use them. Just use the, the one that I like. For the Cena 10C Evo, it uses, um, you'll see a 195523NA, and then the same thing but NB. The B is the good quality one. The A is the, the lower quality one. I don't know why they even bother, but somebody will tell me, I'm sure. You're an idiot. Yeah, I know. And then shift. No, no, not shift, because I don't want to select everything in between. Control, click. There we go. Just those two. Notice over here, when I was in the morning trying to get everything set up, I accidentally took a picture of my bike. So that's, that's what that is. Open. All right. Go to power user. It's rendering. And it renders really fast. I don't know why Cena renders faster than GoPro, but it does. And now I'm going to go over to the place where I said the word off and try again. Oh God, I gotta zoom out. There's a whole lot here. There we go. And uh oh, that's not right. Oh, did I screw up? I think I screwed up. Okay, so I uh, I thought I screwed up, but I didn't screw up. And then the video on the screencast-o-matic apparently it stops at 15 minutes. I didn't realize. So I'll just recap what what you may have missed. I was able to sync up the video and the audio for all three tracks: the GoPro 8, 7, and the Cena. Let me zoom out here so you can see what I'm talking about. Control A. Make all of these small. All right, so there's all my tracks. I know it looks confusing and intimidating if you don't know what you're doing, but I'm used to it. I've been doing it for like a year now. So I've got my GoPro Hero 8, I've got my GoPro Hero 7, and I got my Cena, and they're all synced up nicely. And if you zoom out, you see the whole project on the timeline. So that's the whole project. I need to add stuff over here from my phone from earlier today so that's what I'm going to be doing next and how I did that was I recorded a bunch of videos on my phone went to iMovie created a movie and then I uploaded it to YouTube so let's go to my YouTube and download it so that I can use it there we go and let me go to my studio YouTube studio Click on videos. And I know for the beginner watching this, like, oh my God, there's a lot of stuff. Well, the beauty is you can always rewind and rewind and watch again and watch again and watch again. So as you can see right now, the video from my phone is uploading. First, I rendered it in iMovie, saved it, and then I uploaded it to YouTube. It's still there. It's going 73% right now. And it's a private video, so you all can't see it. I'm going to download it and then delete it off of here again. It's a, it's a lot faster, I noticed, to send it all the way into space and then all the way back down again than it is to plug it in. It, it's just weird that way. So I'm going to be using this soon. It's still processing. It takes a couple seconds for it to process. All right, so I've got my Cena video. I've got my GoPro video. Uh, ah, there's the video that I'm making right now that you can see me on. That's a video file too. So let me go get that because I've already saved that first one that I did. So I'm going to, where am I gonna stick that? It's a good question. I'm gonna create a, an audio track and a video track. And I'm gonna put them both together because I don't need to sync these up with anything. 
So the audio, I'm going to bring that all the way up to the very top, put it just below it. Okay, so there we go. Add arrange media, go to the folder, November 24th, recording number eight. Apparently, I've done seven more of these for my job, you know, part of my job. And now I go to par user mode, and there that is. So Later on, I'll be using that video after my motive log is over. That's going to go to this. So that I'll get that all ready to go. And the one I'm recording right now, I'll put after it. And let's go back to my YouTube and see if I can download this video now. I wonder if I could, even though it's still processing, download. I, I don't have to wait for it to process. Yay. Save this in November 24th. Save it. Okay. So I've just downloaded it now, still downloading, and I think it's done. Go back to my video editor, and now that was recorded before I made my moto vlog. So that's going to be over here somewhere. And because I'm going to have it separated from all those things, I think I can... Uh, I think I'm going to keep it in a separate track. I don't, I don't have to. But I think I'm going to audio track. Because I think there is going to be some synchronizing with this one. All right, now I'm going to add that track. So there it is. Open. Power user mode. And that's rendering now. And that's the video from earlier this morning. So let me grab that. And slide this way over here and make sure I'm zoomed out of everything and I'm gonna am I all the way over I'm all the way good okay so let's play this one a little bit here just just to see what I'm doing because I don't remember oh uh, yeah okay okay Hello folks, it's my Kaylee 7. Welcome. So today I'm going to make a video for you on how I make fine motor vlogs. I'm gonna zoom in here. Start to finish. The whole thing. The good, the bad, the ugly, the stupid. It's all gonna be here for you. So let me get started here. I'm gonna show you a little bit about my gear. As I go through my process here, make sure I have this bag in correctly. There we go. Okay, so first things first, let's check the temperature. It is uh, almost 50. I'm going to call that for cameras on my helmet and on the bike. Let me see if I can figure out a way to do this. So I can show you how I do it. <coughs> Old man noises. Let's see if I can put it here. That's my do-rag. I always wear a do-rag because uh, over my ears, it keeps my ears from flopping over when I put on the full face helmet. It's going to go on the bike itself. I don't, I don't know where I got this mount, but I got this mount where I can Stick it on the helmet with the sticky. Then I put Gorilla Tape all around it because I'm afraid of it falling off while I'm riding. So let me show you, see? Down a little bit if I wanted to get lower. Poor helmet. But anyway, I've got a 10 seat or a... All right, so now I've got both cameras on my helmet and I've got the microphone up in here. I don't know, you can't see that, but it's right up in, in behind here. It's right behind there. Okay. We're just gonna give it a try. There we go. All right, so now we put uh, this thing on. This is the GoPro Hero 7. Still got the damage from when it fell off at 80 miles an hour. And wiggle it around. So I'll get my stuff going up here. I don't know about you guys. You can't see me, but uh, I don't know about you guys. What the? Why? 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 
for me to get the bike out of the garage. Yeah, I'm going to cut this part. And all this dead air where you hear me talking and you can't see me. I end up having to go into my bag, into the top case at least two or three times. So every time I close it, I know I'm going to have to reopen it again. Don't feel bad about that. Part of the process. Yeah, I don't need any of that. Uh oh. I want right. to show that. All right. She works from home, but today she's moving the bike out of the garage. Moving the bike out of the garage. Yeah, so I think that's where I'm gonna I'm gonna have it right there. Make a little slice right there. Take all that crap out of there, and then move this bad boy over here. You want to see how to make a, a nice fade effect very easily in this program? Let me show you. All right, so I've, I've really zoomed it in closely so I can see the sound. I don't want the sound to overlap. So I just kind of move it over there, and I think I'm good. Now I push here, and I play. See what happens. The garage. All right, here we go. Moving the bike out of the garage. And because my camera didn't move between those two shots, it's seamless. It's absolutely seamless. Yay. Movie magic. All right, move my bike out of there. See, I don't need all this dead air either. Here we go. <laughs> all right, so I can cut that part and then go right to this part. Cut that part. Delete it move this over and I might want to overlap it a little bit do a little fade so right there let's see how that looks here we go <laughs> see you in a sec folks all right all right so now I'm at work and I have moments in between I got a tester next door testing for placement. So I'm going to take this moment to make. Did you notice that fade just then between being in the garage and being at my office? That was a fade that uh, iMovie does. So now we're in the video. Uh, this is part of the iMovie. So that, that was an automatic fade that I already did. So I didn't just do that one. A little bit more of my video. Uh, Here's my laptop. Looks it's, pretty good uh, there. Aces downloading from the camera into the computer old gigabyte drive i know they come a lot smaller now but i cleaned okay. it out from the, all the songs i used to have on it because i have apple now so i don't care and i'll just store them on there but uh, let me uh do that now you don't have to watch this part okay so that part is then going to lead into the part that i already just loaded in here so let me zoom out and zoom out and this part here is going to be the after part so now I've got to think about how this is going to work now I think what I'll do is I'm going to move I think I'm missing something. No, no, no. I know. I'm going to move this part here over to here. And then this part here. Okay, so she went to work. Usually she works from home, but today she's. I think that's how I'll do it. Makes it easier for me. Come on. Here we go. <laughs> See you in a 
folks. Yeah. All right. So now I want that to segue right into the video I did with all the other stuff. Let me zoom way out and show you what I mean. Okay. So this whole bit here, right? I want to have happen right after that part. So after I get the bike out of the garage, then I want it to go right to this part. And this part here, I don't think I need. Do I? Do I need this? Maybe I need this too. Let's see. Oops. I got it on backwards. Ha! 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 Let's turn this around. Turn this around. Upside down, shall we? There we go. There we are. So I'm going to be using all of this footage. So now I just need to, to put these together. So now this one's already at the beginning of the timeline. So I'm going to grab this one here. And I wonder, hmm. This is something I'm still learning, this part. I want to grab all of this stuff right here. Yeah, let me just go like that. Move everything over. No, 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 no. All right. I keep messing this thing up, and I keep forgetting that about the 15 minutes, so I should probably tell my phone to remind me. Hey, Siri. 14-minute countdown. There you go. 14 minutes and counting. So that way it'll it'll remind me a minute before this video cuts out. You're not going to miss a whole lot of stuff. Not that you really want to watch all this, but anyway. So I'm still making my video. I've synchronized the uh, Apple iPhone footage to the start of my GoPro footage. And so let's take a look at how that is going to come out. I'm going to zoom in a little bit because I, I want to play it without having to watch too much. I think that's good. All right, let's see. Oops, I got it on backwards. Ah. Oh, see? Ah, I got to move all this stuff to end. Let me zoom out. I had it overlapping too much. No, that's not going to work. So let me go here. Down to here. And make sure to just move right there. Let's see if that works. Easier for me. There we go. So far, so good. All right, there you go. Oops, I got it on backwards. Ah! Ha! 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 Told you I was going to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Let's turn this around. Let's turn this around upside down, shall we? There we go. So all that's working out pretty good. There we are. That's and it's because I have all the audio synced up. My bike in view. I'm going to watch it. If I'm not going to be able to this, see it, right? I lock the helmet. There's a little helmet lock thing over here I use. Recording. Recording. Okay. Finally got that. So you hear that echo effect, right? It's because I haven't silenced the audios that I'm not going to be using. So let me go to my GoPro audio, and you can tell it's an audio over here. I'm going to – I know it's the, the the one that has a 10121. One, oh, one, one. That's the GoPro I want. Yeah, I want, I want to mute both GoPros. So it doesn't really matter. Mute that GoPro audio. <coughs> Excuse me. 
It's the COVID. And then that one is not, that's the one I want. <clears throat> that 19552, that's the Cena audio. So where's the other GoPro audio? I'm guessing it's here. Why is it at the top like that? That seems kind of weird. Did I mess up? Oh, wait, that's not even the right one. <laughs> Audio, video. Come on now. Well, let's see. Well, let's play it. That going. I like the GoPros because they have this. Yeah, see, I, I still have to silence something. And I believe the thing I have to silence is one of these. Yeah, I think this one. I need to mute that one. Okay, and I think I'm good now. Let's push play. Easy feature. If you already got all your settings right. So you notice there's no echo chamber effect anymore. So now I've got the video lined up right. So you'll notice it goes from one video into the other. Sorry. When you're zoomed out like this, it's hard to find a place that's really close that you can get into so you don't have to watch too much to see go. the transition. And there you go. Okay. I could move them over, I guess. I could kind of synchronize a little bit better, but eh, I'm getting lazy. End of the day. All right, so the first part of the video, I've got, I ha still haven't done my fade on that one yet. And I've got the middle part of the video where I'm actually making the Mono Vlog. I'm going to keep all that footage. And now I'm going to uh, click over here. Let's see about this. Going with the tires, go. All right, next up, you're going to see me editing this video together. Stay tuned. Okay, so now I'm going to go Control-A to select everything, which is easier that way. Cut. And then click over here. Click on the stuff that I don't want, which is all this stuff right there. Delete that bad boy. Okay, now I want to move this stuff. Yeah. So this thing here is going to go right there. And I might even be able to do a little bit of a transition. Let me see. Move this over. But you're going to see me editing this video together. Stay tuned. Uh-oh. i got to take that part out. All right. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to... Delete, move this over, and then you're going to see a nice little transition y thing, hopefully. You're going to see me editing this video together. Stay tuned. All right. So now, see? Yeah, I think that's good enough. I'm at work, and I have moments in between a little bag I carry my stuff with, an extra bag. This has got a boy in there. Stick that in there. Uh, the files in my, well, they come a lot smaller now, but I cleaned it out from the, all the songs I used to have. Store them on there, but uh, let me uh, do that now. You don't have to watch this part. Okay, so now I'm ready to show you the video footage from there we go. I want to bring this one over and attach it there. And let's see how that Into the computer. And then I'm going to save uh, the files in my uh, gigabyte drive. That's an old gigabyte drive. I know they come a lot smaller now, but I cleaned it out from the, all the songs I used to have on it because I have Apple. I'll just store them on there. But uh, let me uh, do that now. You don't have to watch this part. All right. Looks like I'm recording. 
So you can see I'm using Screencast-O-Matic to make this video, this part of the video anyway. Ta-da! Okay. So I'm going to add in the, the video that uh, I was recording a little bit earlier and it cut out on me. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm using the wrong dang thing. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select just this one. And hopefully it'll put it in the right place when I add it in. Oh, no, I can't see a damn thing. I can't see a thing. Let's see now. I'm going to go to recording nine. Open that up. Power user mode. And it's right there. That's nice. Puts it right after it, which is great. I'm zooming in so I don't have to watch too much between the transition. I want to see exactly where the transition is. I think I screwed up. Okay. So, I, uh, I thought I screwed up, but I didn't screw up. And then the video on the Screencast-O-Matic, apparently it stops at 15 minutes. I didn't realize... So I'll just recap what, what you may have missed. All of this stuff right here. Yeah. yeah let me just go yeah. like that. Move everything over. No, 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 no. All right, so you'll notice it cut out because there's nothing left. Also, you want to see how when I push play, it, it stops itself if there's nothing else to, the, to that end. Um, so if there's nothing more over here, it just stops itself. If this keeps going and going and going and going, you haven't zoomed out far enough to see the entire project, and you might have a video file way the hell over there, and you forgot it was there, and then you render it and send it up to YouTube, and it's like an hour of blackness because of a little one-second thing you forgot because you didn't zoom in enough or out enough. So you got to be careful of that. All right, I'm going to add this video in, the one I'm making right now, and then I'm going to uh, render it. So when I render it, I first I save the project, of course, which I haven't done in a while. So let me do that. Save this project. And then I'm going to click Make Movie. And then when I click Make Movie, I'm going to uh, you know select what folder it is. I've already got it set so that it's a 4K because the first video I loaded up was the GoPro 8, which is in 4K. So the whole thing's going to be for 4K. And uh, then I will upload this to YouTube, and you'll be able to see it, including the moto vlog. How meta is that? A moto vlog about making videos, and then that itself is in a making of video. <laughs> I can't believe I just did it. If you watch this long, get a life. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. I forgot to show you something. I, I logged off or whatever. I said bye too soon. So let me show you. When I'm making the video, there's something I wanted to show you about how I can uh, manipulate the video to fade between things. So to do that, I'm going to show you it right here. Make that nice and big. And that is all of my GoPro 8 footage right there. That's the GoPro 8 timeline right there. So move this over here so you can kind of see me here. Not that you need to. All right, moving, moving in. Zooming in here nice and big. And there you go. So. All right, time to get on the bike here and do my stuff. So, pull in the brake, hold down this button. Notice I haven't turned anything on yet. Bike is totally off. There you go. You never have to worry about it starting and lurching forward because it's in neutral. DCT, baby. I could cut. I put my uh, garage. I could cut a lot of this out, but I'm tired. Garage door opener in a little compartment that the airbag normally would go in. I don't have the airbag model. Very convenient. Here's my gear. This is... Okay, now I'm going to make a little cut right here. And I'm going to slide this over to a certain point because I'm displaying stuff. There we go. And then I'm going to make another cut. And here, you see this little little thing right here where my, it turns into a little finger? 
grab that slow and slide it down now it it's it makes the video that I'm in invisible which means it gives room to the video beneath it to now be displayed so now you're looking at the footage from the GoPro 7 so you'll notice here watch very convenient here's my gear this is an Arai um, see how it changed so it's like an instantaneous ba do ba right? It goes right between. I could do a, a fade as well, which I might do on this next part. Let me see how this goes. It doesn't work for you. All right. Garage is closed. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So let me zoom in nice and big. Move this thing over a little bit. Click on this part of the timeline. Move my mouse right over to that little, see that little thing with the, you know, that little deal? Grab it, slide it over gently for a couple seconds, and now there's a fade between the two. Watch. I'll give it a try. If it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you. All right. Garage is closed. I'm ready to go. Let's do this. See? So that's a way to do a fade between without having to overlap. And I'm going to do that throughout this video because I have two cameras, and I want to show both things usually like if i'm talking to the camera or if i'm doing a turn or something cool that i want to look back upon myself to show you then i will do that kind of uh, cut reduce one and maybe do a little transition in between so i just wanted to show you that as well that's another part of what i do uh, to show you the dual camera angle so multiple timeline or multiple tracks on a timeline overlapping and and being able to fade between them and silencing one or, or reducing the opacity of one so that the other one could be seen muting whole tracks so i don't have to worry about hearing that echo chamber in the audio this is how motor vlogging is made at least by me i'm sure that other people do it way better than i do but this is how your basic goofball can do a motor vlog pretty decently See ya. Flick it into drive. Man, this Making sure all my stuff looks okay.